June 1996, Africa. Nowhere on earth has as much history and tradition as the birthplace of humankind itself. Africa. Real travel is going out of your comfort zone and experiencing a place where everything is different. The language, the food, the people, and the culture. The coastline of Africa stretches thousands of miles. Perfectly formed coastlines with local populations and the powerful Indian Ocean. For us Santa Cruz surfers, we loved it. Big powerful waves, we're used to the cold water. But what makes Africa truly unique are the people. Everywhere we went, we encountered the most friendly people imaginable. They would take one look at us, and from our smiles, they would immediately approach us. They always wanted to know where we were from, sometimes touching our skin or our hair, and checking out our camera equipment. Sometimes, your joy is the source of your smile. But sometimes, your smile can be the source of your joy. To truly experience travel, is to remove all ideas, all concepts, in order for the truth to reveal itself. Out there on the open road in Africa, it felt like anything could happen at any time. Our good friend Mike Tabling was showing us around. He had moved to Africa many years ago and loved the Santa Cruz crew. Mike was a wild man. He loved adventure and took a lot of risks. Mike was excited to show us a traditional Zulu village. Also, to go check out some elephants. And Mama, she's tempting maize. I uh, mean, she's um, kneeling as a sign of respect, to wash the hands for hygiene before she starts to serve us with a Zulu beer. But first, she skim the foam, throw it down. She's not lazy, but she's fitting the ancestral spirit. Women are not allowed to drink first or eat first, but she's gonna drink first to drink that beer. It's poison free. The next one is a chip for quality control. Please, take, gentlemen, take off your hats, please. Your hat. Sure. Your hat, sir. Zulu beer, umkombote, is brewed following traditional customs and the recipe is passed on through generations. They drink it during ceremonies, social events, and traditional meetings. The beer has a sour aroma and taste, and is mildly intoxicating. For things to reveal themselves to us, we need to be ready to abandon our views about them. We are here to awaken from our illusion of separateness. When we are mindful, deeply in touch with the present moment, our understanding of what is going on deepens. We begin to be filled with acceptance, joy, peace, and love. Truly understanding means throwing away your knowledge. The past is gone. The future is not yet here. And if we do not go back to ourselves in the present moment, we cannot be in touch with life.
After the Zulu village, we went to check out the elephants. We were rolling through the jungle when we came up upon this big group of elephants. And one was blocking the road. The others were off on both sides of us. Cabling said, Rufo, grab your board. TR, grab your camera. Let's take a picture in front of the elephants. My instinct told me it was a bad idea, but I did it anyways. So we get out of the car and start taking pictures in front of the elephants. The elephants got pissed off. The biggest bull elephant started flapping his ears and roaring, and we jammed back to the car. The elephants started to surround the car, and it was looking sketchy. We started slowly driving, and the big bull elephant came around the bushes and onto the road. He blocked the road and then started running towards the car. I thought we were dead for sure. At the last moment, he made a sharp turn into the bushes, and we peeled out of there knowing that we just cheated death. A little ways up the road, a ranger was blocking the road with her jeep. She ran over to our car and started chewing us out. She said she saw what had happened from a nearby hilltop with her binoculars and that we should have been killed, that that elephant is famous and hates people. She went on to explain that elephants can outrun any human. You can't get away by climbing a tree or hiding and they can smash a car like a tin can. We apologized got back on the road and drove back to our cabana, feeling a bit freaked out about what had just happened. Tabling was laughing the whole time. He thought it was all in good fun. The next day after surfing, we returned to the cabana. We're watching TV and on the news, it turns out a tourist was killed at the same place by the same elephant. Perhaps he was still pissed off from the day before. Elephants have massive brains and famously good memories. The reality set in that we were lucky to be alive. Oftentimes it's the most trauma and most extreme sets of emotions that can truly make us appreciate the most simple. Ninga ba le, ni matoda. Ninga 
Surf Stories is presented by TRSurfTrips.com. TRSurfTrips.com, the best in all inclusive surf and shoot adventures worldwide. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> 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 <laughs>